Uh, in this session, I'm going to show you how to convert some dates that you might receive in this format where it shows you year in four digits, month in two digits, and dates in two digits to a more easily readable format such as month slash date slash year. Now this kind of format is actually a recognizable standard format. It's called the ISO 8601 format. And if I go here over here in this sheet, you can see that it is actually a format that's defined by the ISO, the International Standards Organization, I believe. And the way that it is formatted out is so you go from the most significant to the least significant, year, month, uh, day, hour, minute. So in our example, we're just going to do year, month, and date. And the each date and time has a fixed number of digits that must be padded with leading zeros. So in the example here, where we'd have the first, second, and third, you can see that it's padded with a zero. And we're going to do the same for this format. So how do we do that? I'm going to show you two examples. One here with a formula, and the other here with a text to columns a function. Now the formula is basically a couple functions that you have to concatenate or kind of combine together to create that this view, this uh, slash view, month slash date slash year. So let me go ahead and start with the first example. Let's take out the year here first, 2013. And that's going to be done with the left function. So I type equal left and then open parentheses. You can see now that you have this little tip here. Text is which cell or what text you want to put in that formula for that argument. So we're going to use the cell here, E3, and it's going to take this text and how many characters do we want to take out? That's starting from the left. So starting from left, we want to do the 2, 0, 1, 3, that's, so that's four characters. So typing comma, and you can notice that the argument tip here, it goes bold. So it's kind of like a handy little visual tip for you. So I'm going to type 4, and then press the closed parentheses, and press enter, and you can see it's taken out 2013 from the cell. So the next thing I want to take out is probably want to take out the month. So that's going to be done with the mid function. So it's a function that's called mid. I type equal mid, and it's going to return the characters from the middle of the text stream, giving a starting point that you define, and also the number of characters you want to take out. So I'll do open parentheses, take this text, e4, and the starting number, in our case, it's always going to be the fifth starting number. So we have 2013 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 is 4. And then the fifth number is going to be the start of the month. So that's going to be the fifth place. And the number of characters is always going to be two characters, since the month in our example is always going to be the maximum of two. It's going to go from 0, 1 to 12. So I'm going to do two here, press two, and then close parentheses, press enter. You'll see that it's taken out 12. So the third thing I want to do is take out the date. So this date is this last two characters here. This is also going to use the mid function. So I'm going to type mid open parentheses, this text. The start number is always going to be the seventh place, right? So we have four digits for the year, two digits for the month, and then beginning with the date is going to be the seventh place. So that's seventh place, and I'm also going to take out just two characters, right? Because there's only going to be a maximum of two characters for the date settings. Close parentheses, press enter, and you see it's picked out 03. So that's going to be the functions that I'm going to be using. What I need to do is combine all those functions together with these slashes to create my final format. What I'm going to do right now is just kind of make it easier to view the formulas for each one of these. I'm going to each and just put a little space. And just click the space bar here and press enter and you can see that the formula just shows. Because it, it, when I added that space bar, it didn't execute the formula. Excel thinks it's a piece of text there now. So I'm going to go ahead and put a space bar there and then put a space bar there in my third cell over there. So in this fourth cell, I'm going to show you how to combine all these together to make this, the final format. So that's going to be equal, and I'm going to take out, since we're starting with the month, that's going to be this second example here. So I'm going to type in mid, and since I'm in this cell, I'm going to do, I'm a, my text here is going to be E6, because I'm in row 6. So E6, comma, and I'm going to start at the fifth place, right? Five, comma, and two characters. Close parentheses. And here, what I'm going to do is I want to add to that slash. So to, to add or create a join or concatenate values within a function, you can use the ampersand. And that's shift seven. So that gives me that ampersand. And if I want to put text like the slash part, I have to enclose it in quotes. So it's going to be double quotes, slash, and then close it with the double quotes. And then I'm going to add or join 
have that other ampersand, I'm going to join my next function, which is going to be the date. So the date is 0, 03 here. So that's going to be this last the example, this last function here. So that's going to be the mid, open parentheses, and I can just select it instead of typing it, right? I can select this and it's going to give me the E6. Comma, the start number, well, it's going to be starting at 7, the seventh place, right? 7, and then I want to take two characters. Close parentheses, and also want to do a join now with the slash. So I'm going to do a ampersand, quote, slash, quote, and then ampersand. So the last thing I want to join now is the year. It's going to be this one, the left function. So type left, open parentheses, click here to, and E6 to get E6 here, comma, and then I want four characters, just like up here. All right, and then close parentheses, press enter, and you can see now that it has incorporated that format, month, date, year. I can select in that cell and just go ahead and double click the fill handle right here to copy all the values down, copy that formula down. And see it's copied it down. And I want to bring it back up here, copy it up here, and all I need to do is just click here and just click left click and drag it up. And it's going to copy that formula up there. So that's one way to do it is to make this ISO 8601 format of a date look a little bit more readable. And that's via the formulas. Now another way to do it is to use the text to columns feature. Now I kind of showed you the a little bit of a more time consuming way, but so it's kind of neat if you want to learn how to pull specific digits out of a cell. But if we wanted to just do something really quick, there is the text to columns feature. And so what I can do in the text to columns feature is I can select my cell here, the contents, control C to copy, control V to paste. You really can just do it in that cell, but for my example, I'll just show you how it looks like since I'm want to be consistent here. So I've copied it over here, but basically this has copied it all just as numbers. And what I want to do here with this, with this copy section, I'm just going to go and select this column and go under the data tab in the ribbon and go to the text to columns feature here. It's under the data tools group. When I click on that, a window is going to come up, uh, the wizard's going to come up and go through the process of converting text to columns. I can just keep that delimited. It doesn't really matter. Um, well, actually, it probably does. Let me see what's the, what does fixed width give me. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really matter since you get a preview of what happens here. So I'll just kind of select that anyways. Click next, and then I don't really have any delimiters. There's not really anything separating the contents in the cell out. So I don't really, really care about what to select here. What I really care about is when I get into step three here is the column data format. The column data format is going to be in the, in the date format. It initially shows up as year, month, and date. So I want to have that show up here year, month, and date. I want to select that option. So what it does is it recognizes that the year comes first, the month is second, and the date is third. So once I click finish, you can see that now it's changed it. Now it's changed it to a format where it's more easily readable. But you notice that it's also changed it to a format where it took out the leading zero. So if you don't want the leading zero, that's fine because what happens is it just, it just takes the default, it takes the default uh, view, the format, the display. This is the short date. Now, if you did, if you had this in general, you would see the numbers a little different. This is basically a serial number where Excel recognizes the date. This is how Excel actually recognizes dates because it uses this to do calculations. But for something for us to read, a more readable format, we want to do a short date. Now, our example here, we had a short date because uh, it was already selected for us. But if let's say, for example, you wanted to have the leading zeros, you would have to kind of customize that format. And so what you can do actually is you can go under date and go under more number formats. And there is actually, if you look in the date category, there's not really one that shows you leading zeros and gives you the four digits for the year. So you'd have to customize that. So I'll click under customize and I would have to create one. You can see I already created one here. Uh, so basically what it, what it is, is you would have M's would be the month, day for the dates, and Y for the years. So we have MM for the two character setting, two character display for the month, DD for a two character display of the date, and four Y's for a four character display of the year. And you can see the sample here shows you what it's gonna look like. So if I selected my range of cells for that view and selected that custom format and click OK, you can see now it's changed. So here's an example of if you receive a date 
you receive a spreadsheet with dates in an ISO 8601 format and you wanted to change it to something more, a little bit more readable, these are the ways that you can do it, either with a formula approach or with a text to columns approach. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.